I hope you're doing well. It's been a long time. Some of you may have seen on Instagram that I moved to Guangzhou for the summer. We've been living in Guangzhou for three weeks now and it's been such a cool experience to get to live in a city, not as a tourist, and there's just so much to do and to see in Guangzhou. We live in a managed apartment building in Leiwan district, which is an older part of the town that's almost on the western edge of the city. It's not very central and very few young people actually live out here but there are a lot of old buildings that I really like and little shops that I think are very soulful and cute. I also like Li Wan because it has a very romantic meaning. Li Chi Bay. Dave's work is right by the Li Chi Lake. We cycle there together every day and we always stop by the same noodle shop for lunch. It's a tiny shop. Two people, almost too young to fit in this neighborhood. Their noodles are so cheap that we stretch ourselves to even spend 30 kwai. I don't know how they could possibly make rent or why they decided to open a clearly not profitable noodle shop across the street to their art studio and gallery. But their noodles are so yummy and there's something really lovely about normal people opening a small shop, not purely motivated by profit. We moved to Guangzhou because Dave opened a new shop here in Li Chi Bay. It's a shop of my dreams, a tiny nugget with a fold up window and lots of natural light. We don't have a lot of customers here during the day, so we just spend all day here working. Dave developing his own business with so much hope and intention, and me just dragging myself through calls and emails, taking it one day at a time. Sometimes we venture out and visit other cute shops in the area, hidden in old houses and small alleyways. Ever since I was little, I had always loved books. In middle school, whenever I had a bad day, I would go to a bookshop and just being there would make me feel inspired and hopeful. I'm still very much the same even today. <laughs> I feel like indie art books and zines are even more therapeutic because they're beautiful things that someone poured a lot of heart into, knowing that only very few people would appreciate it and even fewer would pay. We found a tiny bike shop in Liwan to get our bicycles delivered and assembled. It took us a while to find this shop. All the shops that say they are bike shops are actually scooter shops and they don't do bikes. It's really fascinating how things are different here in Canton. The language, the weather. I grew up in the north of China and it's always interesting when people greet me in Cantonese at shops and restaurants and I have to tell them, sorry, I don't understand Cantonese in Mandarin. Yeah. Wow, your car is I've also never had to deal with the grueling heat. They've issued a high temperature warning. It's gonna be about 40 degrees for the rest of the week. It currently feels like 49 degrees outside. Or humidity. Or the mosquitoes here. But I really like how people are kind and welcoming and in general just a bit more chill and laid back. <laughs> 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 
点绿叶，所以一定要加一点绿叶。I've always thought the best way to get to know a city is to walk or cycle around it, and I can't wait to explore Guangzhou on my new bike. Some nights, I get to play bartender and make drinks behind the bar. Have all the liquids in one side and do the egg whites separately. It's good practice for when I eventually open my own place, a cafe with lots of books and cookies and yummy drinks. Ready? No, 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 I can make a this cup. This egg is weird. You Have you put ice oh, in already? It says dry shake. Yeah, good. That was a trick question. Yeah, it was. Let's all heat it together really hard. And then I just kind of shake it up and down. Like this, right? With the ice in it. With the ice in it. My flair bartending. You mixed that. You don't need to like dig around inside. Here, that's the first drink I served. How is it? Well. Oh no. Let's start with the bad news first. Oh no. Tastes great. <laughs> It's been kind of a challenging few weeks for me to settle into Guangzhou while trying to balance work, getting involved at Nugget, and setting up Small Batch Cookie Co. in Guangzhou. I've been feeling a bit overwhelmed, burnt out. The reason why I've taken this long to make this video is I've really needed to take some time, prioritize, and get into a better, more positive headspace. The reason why I'm sharing this is a lot of times, like we see other people's lives on social media or even. Even in real life, or at least when I do, I feel a little bit stressed out because I can't help but compare myself a little bit. This is just a note to you and to myself that all those other people's lives are curated, filtered, edited, and there's no point in comparing yourself with anybody else. That's a bit of behind the scenes that no one asked for. Anyways. Lately, I've been spending a lot of time just trying to think about out of everything I do, what's really making me happy. What do I really want out of life, and how can I deprioritize some things? Don't worry, I will never ever deprioritize YouTube. That's actually the most meaningful and worthwhile thing that I do to tell my story, share my life, and connect with you guys. Thank you for being a part of this journey. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.